Hi, this is Matt Marchant, and we are going to go through some basic postural assessments to make sure that we have correct spinal posture that might or might not affect our breathing. So first we're going to go through some of the more high-tech assessments, and I feel it's important to show this to you again uh, because it's going to be relevant when you think about your spine. So first thing is we're using a forward uh, head posture caliper. And what we're doing is we're measuring the distance between the cheekbone and the collarbone. So we would measure this, and what we're trying to get is zero to three centimeters. Uh, anything greater than three centimeters, once you start getting a forward head posture of greater than three centimeters, uh, for every centimeter that your head moves forward, it's greater and greater load that's put onto the cervical spine. So, um, as far as the anatomy goes of the neck, there's going to be a lot of stress on the neck and there's going to be a lot of what's called shearing force being put on the neck. Uh, a lot of pressure is going to be put on the disc between uh, what's called C6 and C7. The radial nerves go out there, so anyone that has a lot of hand problems could be uh, some forward head posture. But uh, for breathing, as my head comes forward, remember it starts to collapse. I get this rounded shoulder pattern, which is also called upper cross syndrome. And that weight now is going to be pushing down on my lungs, making it very hard to breathe. So forward head posture, this is a very easy tool to measure it, but basically cheek, collarbone needs to be within zero to three centimeters of one another. Next one, high, high tech kind of assessment here. We're taking a look at first rib angle, meaning the collarbone. So we have our inclometer here. We're measuring, seeing what angle this rib right here, what angle this rib is at. It needs to be at 25 degrees, okay? Uh, anything steeper than that indicates, again, more of that upper cross syndrome pushing down the lungs, okay? So really no way you can do that one on your own, but uh, it's important to understand that. Next one, okay, now we're getting into more moderate um, technical uh, tape measure. We're going to go right uh, where the bottom of the sternum is. We're going to measure. You would have the person take a deep breath using their chest and exhale. Deep breath and exhale. You're trying to see how much movement, it's called the chest expansion assessment, how much movement you can get in the chest. You want about, well, you want two inches, that's ideal. Anything one to two is, we'll say average or okay, and anything less than one inch in movement is poor, and that actually might need to get referred out to um, a doctor or a physical therapist or someone to take a look at um, why you're not getting a lot of movement in there. So that's, those are more higher tech. So, uh, now more uh, a, a lower tech assessment. Now we're going to measure uh, the back, okay, just using a wall. So easy way to do it, you go up to a wall, your tailbone's up against the wall, your shoulders are up against the wall, you bring the back of your head up against the wall, and you put your hand right here, okay? If you can get these three points right here, we can get you into right position. Now a lot of times, once we get the tailbone, once we get the shoulders, once we get right posture here, you'll see people that cannot get the back of the head onto the wall. That's just indicating, again, a rounded shoulder pattern. So you could use a wall, you could also use a stick, but basically in that posture too, once you get to that posture where you have a wall or stick on you, you are in correct spinal alignment for you. And the key is it's your hand that goes in your back here and your hand should be able to snugly fit right here. You don't want your hand to really be able to move through, and you don't want no space in there either. Okay, That would be flat back and more of a sway back. So we're getting just a little bit of space. So those are some basic assessments um, to assess the spine to make sure the posture is good. Um, the assessment you can do on your own is the wall one. It's a real easy one. And some other things you can do to assess. Um, those 10 joint mobility movements that we did, you can use that as an assessment. 
Let's go through a couple of them. So I go through my joint mobility movement, and it's tight here. I move good here, tight here. So I get a lot of rotation, little. A lot of rotation, little. I do my turns, a lot, a little, a lot, a little. So I can tell right at the bat, I got a lot of tightness in here. I can start assessing, okay, these are some areas that might need to get stretched out. And that's all we're doing with these assessments. We're looking at what needs to be stretched out so I can get my spine into correct alignment here. That's it, postural assessments.